Hi guys and welcome to The Batch Lady where I show you how to make fast, simple, homemade meals that you can make in advance, put in your freezer and use whenever you want. And this week we are all about the slow cooker. We're slow cooking, okay? I'm going to show you some amazing dump bag. That means dump it into the bag raw and freeze it and then cut, bring it out, defrost it, put it in your slow cooker, okay? So the, this is lamb tagine. Delicious. My children love this. We all love it. It's really good. And I'm using the um, I'm using a slow cooker. If you can see this one, is that going to focus? Okay. There you go. I am using a slow cooker lantagine seasoning that came from Tesco. You can get these anywhere. Um, I think Tesco slightly changed its branding, so it doesn't look like this. But this basically makes two meals for a family of four. That's all the seasoning you need. Okay, so in the recipe for the your lamb tagine, we have got diced leg of lamb, some tins of tomatoes, chickpeas, some water, some um, frozen chopped onions, and our seasoning. And that is all we need, okay? I've got these little um, bag holders that help me put everything in. And I've labeled my bag, lamb tagine, four to eight hours on high, um, or in the aga, one hour on the top, three hours on the bottom. And I've written on the bottom, slow, cooker raw so that I know that this isn't a cooked tagine. I know that um, it's got to go in my slow cooker so it's worth labelling your bag. Okay, so you can make two at once or you can make one at a time. Why don't we make two at once? Okay, let's go. So you are going to add in a cup of um, frozen onions. These are still frozen. I've just taken them out of the freezer. So this isn't quite a cup so let me grab some more of that small bag for a big cup size. Right, one cup of onions. You're going to place your mince in. You'll get all my exact quantities at www.thebatchlady.com. And um, this is going to be about 600 grams of lamb, okay? Doesn't look a lot, but remember you're putting chickpeas and you're putting tomatoes um, and you can put more lamb or you can put more chickpeas, whatever you want. So one tin of tomato goes in each bag. One tin of drained cooked pea, uh, chickpeas. You want to make sure they're drained, okay? Um, I'll be doing lots of vegan recipes coming up and you use the drained water, so you can keep it if you want. You want to put in um, 200 mils of water. Um, nearly everything that you put in the slow cooker, I'm just gonna measure out another 200 mils and make sure I get it correct. Everything that you put in the slow cooker has got to be moist. It's got to have a juice that goes with it, okay? That's how the slow cooker works. So it's generally got to be in a sauce or have something like that, um, or you're adding in some water to it. Now, this says that I need half of the, of the tub. So I am just going to decide with my finger there what is about half and hope that it doesn't come out in one block. Let me just see, a bit more, end up with one strong one and one not. So I'm just generally just measuring that out, that's about right, and the rest can go in here, if it will come out. Right, there we go, come out in a big lump. Okay, all you want to do is take it off your stand, let's move this one to the side, give it a seal and then give it a mush around, okay? That has got your onions, your tomatoes, your chickpeas, uh, your um, your lamb, and that is going to make a fab tagine. Remember, it's going to slow cook in your either in the bottom of your agar or in your slow cooker or at 100 degrees on a normal electric cooker, and it's going to slow cook for four to eight hours. So the flavours are going to be immense. This is where you don't need a great deal of really strong flavours for slow cooking because the flavours really come out with this. Okay. Now, what you want to do is seal it flat. And that is ready for the freezer. And we'll just do another one. Okay, now, when you take it out of your freezer, so say I was going to use this before I went to bed, if it was on my list, on my um, meal planner, I'd take it out of the freezer. And then when I come down in the morning, I would just, um, it would be defrosted. I'd take it out of the fridge and I would just dump it straight into my slow cooker. And that's why it's called a dump bag. And I would follow whatever the recipe says. If I was going to put it in the bottom of my aga when I came down in the morning, I would put it in the top aga for about 15 to um, 15 to 20 minutes, just till my pot, my aga pot had sort of got hot. 
um, and then I would um, put it in the low oven and if I was cooking it on a normal electric oven I would set the electric oven cook it for um, 15 to 20 minutes on 180 to 200 and then I turn my oven down to 100 but really if you're going to cook any slow cooking on an electric oven it's a lot cheaper these are 18 pounds um, at the moment I think they're usually about 23 and they literally use like the energy of a light bulb so they're probably quite a quite a good thing to use in terms of saving energy guys we just made two packets of lamb tagine that's going to be beautiful I'll serve that with some um, lovely couscous and I'll probably put some pomegranates over the top of it you could put the pomegranates in as well but I quite like the crunchy sort of non-cooked pomegranates um, lamb tagine for four people we just made two of them in about four minutes let's move on to the next recipe bye